Hey guys, it's Ice here, and we are back here with some more Spelunky. Just gonna do another quick run here. We're going with the Jaguar Boy. He hasn't, he's done okay for us so far. Pretty soon we'll be going back to Fat Black Boy Scout because honestly, nothing is better than Fat Black Boy Scout. But uh, this is really just me recording a couple episodes in the uh, throes of my terrible, terrible daily challenge where I forgot to record my voice. And I'm just trying to redeem myself, not only for my mistakes in-game, which were pretty atrocious, but also my mistakes out of game. I guess in a on, in one way, I mean, if I had to have one Splunky run where I forgot to record my uh, mic audio, the one where I died on the lines too by falling into spikes out of absolute stupidity is probably the one I would like recorded that way. Oh, I cannot believe I did that. So, we're not off to a great start. Like, I mean, we, we haven't taken damage, we have an okay amount of gold. And we haven't gotten far down, but we're already making little mistakes. That's, that's, we'll just use that as an excuse to be more vigilant. We need to be more careful. We need to think about things even longer. Splunky is a thinking man's game. I, that is somewhat true. You do have to really like kind of, it's a combination of like just quick reflexes, muscle memory, and okay, we are going to have to use a rope here, but that's totally worth it. Except we also have to use a rope to get back up here because he ran into a spider web. Not crucial errors, but they are errors that are whittling down the extra resources we gain. We are at least one, um, on a positive note, you know, we are still one rope up from our starting position. So that's not that bad. Let's take a rock and let's head on out. Because without that rock, what are we going to wind our string around? And I am going to make that joke every single episode. Like, if I have the opportunity to make that joke, I will definitely make that reference. And we have a jetpack. 20,000 for that jetpack. I am going to do everything in my Splunky power to make that happen. Getting a jetpack this early is not only incredibly rare, but incredibly valuable. So, that box did us no favors by giving us a machete. And the level is doing us no favors by giving us very little gold opportunities. Like, honestly, I would I would sell this maiden for a jetpack, given the opportunity. So... It's not looking good for us in uh, getting into the jetpack territory. On a positive note, we did bounce our way up there, which is a bit of a pro move. And that found us the key, so that is good. I'm really glad we came up here, or I'd be really frustrated trying to find that key. Um... Now this is one of those opportunities where, because there's a jetpack available, if we can happen to get to the 20,000 mark, if I'm a little bit short, I will use a bomb. I mean, even with our, like, you know, fairly low number of bombs we are on the starting amount, I will use a bomb or two to get myself to that 20,000, but I don't think that is going to be an option for us. We're just way too far off. I feel like we'd use all our bombs and still not make it. So, we saw the jetpack. We left the jetpack, and we're much sadder for it. But hey, maybe those small failures in life can turn into big advantages in the end. Since we didn't use our money, hey, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe there'll be some jetpack to buy later. I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. There's no way to spend not getting that jetpack into a positive. Um, I can spend getting hit by that snake into a positive, and in that it I was in my invulnerability frames and didn't get hit by the... Uh, air trap which would have done significantly more damage so yay for small victories and this is a lot of risk for three pots worth of possible gold so we've gotten 100 gold out of all this risk uh okay cool at least that paid off that rock almost fell fell on my head and we're just beating our maiden really just because we didn't get the jetpack i'm frustrated I, I just have to hit someone so maiden's there might as well make it him right Okay, so going through, bring our maiden down. Oh, that's going to fall directly on those spikes. Let's just take a peek over here. Got that. Look up, look down. Doesn't seem to be a way to go through here. So we are going to bomb. Drop our maiden off. We got some ropes. Firefox is yelling at me to update. No, Firefox. You can update yourself. I want no part in that. Okay, moving on, up, oop, watch that spit, watch that spit, and there we go. Well, let's check out over here first. Screw that cavalcade of uh, 
running spiders there, and that was a bit of a mistake. That was not, let's just say that was not the best way we could have approached that. But we uh, recovered from our error quite handily. No harm, no foul. We got free jump shoes, and I think the maiden is like one hit from death, because I do keep whipping the crap out of him. So let's just... Oh, jump shoes almost actually hurt me there, because I almost jumped into the spider. And there's a little bit more money on this level. And with the jump shoes, we can easily get to it. So boom, boom, boom. I want my rock to wind a string around, and we shall continue onward. Okay. So we're starting to pick back up. Um, we are in a nice bit of money. I'm still hurting about the loss of that potential jetpack, but we'll live. We'll live. Our maidens have been really easy to find, which is nice. Okay, can we grab here? And just whip that spider right in its spidery face. Okay, moving on. Um, I'd like to have a lot more money, actually. I just looked at my money total and realized that I'm just making crap up. I thought I was a lot higher up than I am. I really would like to be a lot closer to 50,000 by this point. But that doesn't seem... Well, it doesn't seem like it. Of course I'm not, because I can see the number, plain and simple, right there kill that guy before he kills our dog. Now we are going to need to find a way to trigger those arrow traps. I'm thinking it'd be safest to put the dog there. We got a stick here. One of the arrow traps has triggered. A second is triggered. I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, it looks like they've all triggered. So let's grab our dog, whip him again. Uh, he is not very good on the old health front. We got a second free paste from a crate and... Let the dog go through, and we're just going to poke around a little bit more, see if there's any easy money. Doesn't look like it. Money is a huge issue right now. Um, I'm really hoping the Ujet Eye is on, like, the second or third floor. A first floor Ujet Eye will make life incredibly difficult. I really thought that was going to hit a monkey. It definitely did not. Let's just take a peek over here, and let's go peek back over at the monkey area. Monkey Hell Zone, as I like to call it. Fairly easily sorted, actually. Ah, jump. Spring Shoes are amazing. They are... I realized I very much underrated Spring Shoes. Okay, can I get this monkey to jump into this tiki trap? So I don't have to deal with this crap. Uh, it looks like the answer to that question is a resounding yes. Um, which is not the word I was expecting to say there. Okay, so let's see if we can make this happen. Up, up, up. Boink, boink. No live bomb, so that's good. I stood there and waited way too long trying to figure out if there was a live bomb. I just kind of stared at it for a while. I was like, is there... you going to live bomb me? And it was like, nah, I'm not gonna. And I was like, thank God, because I was not ready if you did. Get our rock back. And let's wind a monkey's face around it. Excellent. I was about to say, cool... We're going to get ourselves a boomerang, but with the maiden right here, I'm definitely preferring the maiden to the boomerang. That frog is going to cool himself down a little bit, both physically. Oh. Okay, now where is it? Let's take a peek. It's right here. That was an easy one to find. I'm quite pleased with that. And it looks like we actually can get both the maiden and the boomerang. So that's nice, because we can just pop back over there, grab our boomerang, hit that guy with a pot. <laughs> Can you imagine being that guy? You're just sitting there, mind your own damn business, and out of nowhere, a pot flies across the jungle and just cracks you in the head. You're like, what the hell just happened, George? George being his best friend, his long life uh, childhood friend, um, who has become an interesting character in this story. George is the man I stole the boomerang from. I'm very happy I'm holding George's boomerang. I'm very happy I'm holding George's boomerang, the icy New Year story. Mistakes were made there, but I think we can recover. Just don't whip the dog. Don't you don't get the dog in the back whip. Ooh. We are really low on money. Uh if the black market isn't good to us, we're gonna have to kill everyone. That is my warning to you guys. If the black market isn't good to us, you are all dead. Or I'm dead. I mean 
one way or the other, someone's gonna die. Hopefully it isn't me. I'm kind of feeling like the black market isn't going to be good to us, uh, and so let's start scouting out the best place to start our murderous rampage. We're going to poke down here real quick. Um, okay, at least that frog chilled himself out. Let's see, I could pop a bomb down there. I don't want to do this with a boomerang. I'd, I'd rather not have to kill people. Like, that is, like, I, and that's just not me, you know, trying to appear to be a good person. I really wouldn't, would rather not. Okay, that got, that was lucky. And we are so terribly close to not having to kill people that it would just be a damn shame. Actually, you know what? Another bomb will do it. We're just going to put a bomb right here and hide behind this because I didn't think that that crate, about that crate, and we have enough for the onk. So let's hurry up and let's get out of here. Grab our onk and oh, totally didn't even remember about that thing. Ran right into it and get out of here before the ghost comes. If the ghost does spawn, I'd prefer for it to spawn. Ooh. Oh god. So that was dumb damage. There's another boomerang down here. I was gonna. I wanted. Oh, I can't get to that boomerang. I'm out of bombs. Okay, screw it. No boom. No rang. We'll just deal with it. Now, this was a stupid situation. Put myself in harm's way for a pot. <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay. Um, We are out of bombs, which is not a good situation to find myself in. We don't have climbing gloves. We don't have a very good infrastructure. We essentially are running on paste without bombs. Um, And... <sighs> We obviously do have the Ankh, which is good. We have a decent bit of ropes. Um, an okay amount of life. I mean, more than the starter. Like, there's something to be said for that. Um, let's see. What else do we have going for us? Not much. I'd love to have a bomb to break in through there. I'd love to have a bomb to make us not have to go through this hellish situation right here. But, uh, yeah. Life isn't going to be good to us, is it? Worked out. Somehow sorted that out pretty well. Uh, we don't have much money. Which does make a huge difference because a good shop could change our run completely. And by that, make it a lot more likely to be successful. Because as it's looking, we're in we're in bad we're in bad territory. Like I don't let anyone tell you otherwise. We're not looking good. And we're not looking terrible. But we just don't have that much of an infrastructure. That I feel like, okay, yeah, I can at least get to... Yeah, I don't even want to say where I think I can get. There's the Ankh. Obviously, we're not getting to the City of Gold. That, I can guarantee you. That was a dumb mistake and a lot of risk for a very small amount of gold. Now we have to go through this hellish situation again. Okay, we sorted that out. On a positive note, at least we have the Maiden. I mean, that's a thing. Ah, the worst part is we had the life to survive the Tiki Trap. It was the spike below that killed us. Though to be fair, the Tiki Trap probably would have left us stunned long enough that we would have just gotten hit by another Tiki Trap. Uh, she immediately got Tiki Trapped. Uh, I am really glad that worked out the way it did because I seriously did not deserve for it to be... to work out in that manner. Okay. The only thing that made that possible was the fact that we had the Spring Shoes. And also, having the spring shoes means we're just not even going to fuck with these, uh... We're going to crush this man's head with these, uh, big old spy... Um... Frogs. Because all they can pay out with it at this point is money and us being alive. Plus, we don't really have any way to hurt them unless we can get, like, a good position with a boomerang. Oh my god. This frog is blocking the way and I have nothing to hurt him with. Um, can we find, like, enough debris on this stage to kill him? I don't know how much life he has. I think it's a fair bit. Like, uh, like, I'm not even sure how to deal with this. There's no more rocks. Uh, this has happened to me before, but it was the Yeti King, and he was standing on the exit. Okay, now, this worked basically... I'd love to sacrifice him to Kali, but... 
We need his corpse to have a chance to get past this uh, big old frog. Let's trigger those traps. Make it happen. Go ahead and kill that. And... Uh, okay. Okay, somehow we made that happen. I, I honestly don't know how we managed what we just did. I'd like to get both of these going at the same time, please. No such luck, but we made it over anyway. Crush this guy in the head, and we're going to steal another man's boomerang yet again. Stealing another man's boomerang. The icy New Year story. Okay, moving on. Okay. We are on the caves. Um, the only real advantage we have for us... We do have spring shoes. We do not have a cape. We don't have uh, climbing gloves. We don't have any of the things I like to have on the ice caves. This is a bad scene. Okay, that was... I mean, the only saving grace of this is the spring shoes. That's what it comes right down to. The spring shoes give me a little bit more mobility, and it's the only reason I can make this happen. I don't have any bombs, so no help there. Mm, I really want that crate. That crate could make a huge difference. Let's make it happen. Drop her off there, and more ropes, which honestly, without, with, you know, us sitting with spring shoes and nothing else of too extreme value, I'm super happy for crate. Crate will get no negatives in my book. Let's get out of the way. Bombs. Death. So that wasn't good. Yeah. And uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, have a great day.